Colorado. This has been a trip two years in the making, and today is the day. So um, Alex is in front of me. We're almost to Woodland Park. Um, we're headed out there. Jason and his wife are going to meet us out there um, later tonight. So uh, Alex and I are going to kind of take our time getting there. We're going to stop at a reservoir on the way there. Um, go spend a little bit of time, maybe go do a short hike. Maybe put the drone up if I'm allowed to. Um, and then get into town, kind of get everything unpacked and settled. Um, as you can see behind me, it, the truck is pretty full. Um, I got two big coolers full of food and a bunch of camping chairs and my luggage and all my drone and camera equipment. Um, so the plan is tonight that we are going to do a night run. Um, probably Corkscrew Pass or California Pass or one of those easier ones. Um, and then tomorrow we are going to do the full Alpine Loop. Um, so that's going to be a long day, but it should be good. And then Sunday, I think we're going to hit uh, Yankee Boy Basin and Imogene. And then Monday, we may hit Engineer on the way out. So um, we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, we are going to stop for stop for lunch somewhere on the way out today. And then uh, got hot dogs planned at the house for dinner tonight. Um, then we're doing burgers tomorrow for dinner, potentially on the trail, depends on how long we're out on Alpine Loop. Um, but lunches throughout the whole week is just gonna be sandwiches. So I'll be pretty sick of sandwiches by the time we're done with this trip. But I am super excited. This has been a long time coming. Um, my mantra for the last couple of days has been don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. So, and I made it through and we're on our way and I can't wait. So I'm gonna have lots of footage for you guys. Um, I will film bits and pieces on the way out there because I know that the drive out there is relatively boring. But I'll kind of comment when I see cool stuff and take some short clips on the dashboard here. Um, and then when we get to the, uh, the reservoir, I'll probably try and take a time lapse, um, hopefully get some drone footage, and then uh, continue to film I'll definitely film a lot when we get through into Ure. Um, and then obviously when we get on the trails, I'll have lots and lots of footage. So I appreciate, appreciate your support watching the channel. Um, as I said, I'm going to have a ton of content for you uh, over the next few days that I will spread out like I have been. Every Friday I'll put out a video. So we'll have lots of, lots of stuff for you guys. It's going to be a good time. just stopped at Collegiate Peaks Recreation Area um, that's got a great view of the mountains. Um, we just stopped to use the bathroom real quick, but I hopped out and took a few pictures. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty because right underneath the overlook is some farmland and then it kind of is a big valley that goes out and you can see the, uh, the mountains. Um, so I guess Collegiate Peaks is the name of these mountains. I'll have to look that up. I'll, I'll post it. Put it here on the video. So.
So we just passed over Monarch Pass, um, which is a very pretty drive, very twisty and up and down. And uh, now we are just entered Gunnison National Forest, which around here is not a whole lot of forest, but um, that's where we're at. So we're still about an hour from the reservoir that I have also that I've forgotten the name of. Um, we're gonna stop there for a little bit and then probably try and find some lunch. And then we're only an hour and a half, maybe two hours away from Ure at that point. So um, it's been a very, very pretty drive so far. Um, I'm very much enjoying it. It's, you kind of go through these mountain passes and then come down into these big valleys that are pretty open and relatively flat. And then you go back up in the hills again and then back up into the mountain passes. Um, it's been very nice. I'm very much enjoying it. So we just got really lucky. Um, there was a construction zone on a two-lane road that they had down to one lane for probably half a mile. Um, so they were stopping people and we pulled up right when they let us through. So we didn't have to wait in a super long line for who knows how long. Um, Cause there was a bunch of intersecting roads as, as well with a bunch of people sitting there waiting. So um, we are getting close to Kiriconte. That's the name of the reservoir we're gonna go to. Um, the National Recreation Area. Um, so we're getting close there. We're gonna go uh, check this out for a little bit and take a break, get out and stretch our legs. So driving through Gunnison, I saw probably 10 first gen ten Tundras. It must be like the national truck of, or the truck of that, of that town. Because I've never seen that many all in one short area. just entered Ure County, so we're almost there. We're about 25 minutes away. Um, the visibility is kind I'm not sure how the visibility is because it's been a little rainy, um, but some of the further mountains are kind of hazy, so I don't know if that's because of smoke or if that's because of the rain, um, but I guess we'll find out soon. So um, we'll find some place to eat here shortly. They have a lot of places to stay out here.
guess we find a place to park, huh? Yep. Not that big a town that we're going through. We found a pizza place. So um, we are, we just had dinner at the house. Um, Alex and I hung out for a while and just kind of relaxed until Jason and Sarah got there. Um, we just got gas and we are headed to the trail for our night run. Um, so we decided to switch over and do Owl Creek um, in, instead of the Corkscrew Pass, uh, you know, all of that stuff, Hurricane California. Because that one's a little more technical. It's also a half an hour to an hour before we even make it to that trailhead. And it's already eight o'clock. Um, and we have Alpine Loop tomorrow, so we're going to have to be up in the morning anyway. So, um, but first time being on a trail at night, so this should be interesting. Um, it's not quite super dark yet, but it will be by the time we get off of there. I'm hoping to get some star pictures and stuff. So, should be fun. like a bear at first. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Okay, I'm gonna stop here so that, well, I don't wanna piss off the cow, but I also don't want them to come up on it quick. Yeah. Well, it's 10 o'clock at night and we just finished the um, Owl Creek Trail. Uh, I'm glad I did a night run. It was kind of neat to do a night run at first. But it gets old really quick um, because you're just looking at nothing for hours. And the trail we were on was super easy. Um, it was just a groomed dirt road the whole way with tons of camp spots and in the middle of a national forest. Um, so would I do it again? No, probably not. I would not do that trail in the daytime, it was really boring. Um, and as far as a night trail goes, unless it was really clear out and I could see the stars really well and that was my point of going, uh, I don't think I'd do a night trail again. It just, it, you don't see anything, it's boring, and unless it's, and even if it's super technical, you still can't see anything. Um, 
I will say I am very happy that I bought my off-road lights though because those made a massive difference. Um, I can see much better at night than I than I can with just my regular headlights. So. Hang on, so just you should have front traction. 